Welcome students. In our module number 5, which talked about building leadership capabilities among young engineers and engineering students, we now move on to module 6, which talks about steps toward effective leadership. In module number 5, that is the previous module, we have talked about the meaning of leadership, the process of leadership and the functions of the leader. We also talked about certain styles of leadership. In this week, you will be in a position to understand and list out certain traits and qualities which are characteristic of leadership. We will talk about it from several perspectives. After listening to this module, you will be able to get an overview of a model of leadership. This module is also going to talk about several approaches, especially historically speaking, the previous approaches to leadership. In yet another module, we will be talking about more and more recent approaches. What would be the takeaway? You will note the qualities, traits, characteristics of effective leaders. You will also see how theories have been enlisting the traits and how theories have been perceiving the characteristics of the leader and how and what of leadership. You will also be describing a model leadership. In addition to that, you will understand, you will describe and you will differentiate certain theoretical perspectives to leadership. So thus we start today the first part which talks about characteristics of leadership. What does leadership involve? Have a look at this slide. Leadership involves several aspects. It involves motivation, it involves group development and teamwork, it involves power, it involves conflict as well, it involves confrontation and negotiation, it involves effective communication, it involves critical thinking and problem solving. Some of these aspects have already been dealt with by experts as a part of this course. There are certain expectations about the characteristics of a leader. Let us list them out. Leaders are expected to be adaptable to situations. They are supposed to be alert towards social situation. They are expected to be cooperative, decisive. They are supposed to be dependable. They should be assertive. They should be confident, persistent and they should possess knowledge. These are all the expectations about leaders. Thus, there are certain abilities which are supposed to be characteristic of leaders. Let us look at them now, the characteristics. The ability to use power effectively. Leadership involves power. Now, a leader acquires power by virtue of his appointment. It is a legitimate power. He is appointed as a leader. He achieves willing obedience by using one or more power bases like expert power, referent power, reward, coercive power. In several ways, he can use his power. In addition to being able to use the power effectively, he or she should also have the ability to comprehend. They should understand people, their needs, their expectations. And this understanding and comprehension is a continuous process and it gives the leader the understanding of, of his subordinates and an ability to explore the situation to his advantage and get the organizational goal achieved. At the end of it, organizational goal is what is important. He should be able to inspire and the ability to inspire is one of the characteristics expected out of a leader. Inspiration is best judged when subordinates work with zeal even in hopeless situations. He must identify each individual's capabilities and skills and should be able to inspire them. An inspiration emanates from a leader who may have charm, appeal and devotion to duty. Inspirations also come from charismatic personality of the leader. There are other abilities as well which are required, which are expected out of a leader. He or she should develop a climate conducive to the response from employees. It should not be one way. We have talked about leadership styles in our previous module where we said there are certain types of leadership where responses from the subordinates or from employees are not 
taken well. Yet another ability which is required is design and maintain an environment for efficient performance. Identify motivational needs, desires of the subordinates and work out a plan. Include appropriate reward system, freedom of action in work environment, ensure that there is recognition and open communication system and have an informal and cordial behavior pattern among various layers of organizational structure and not develop something which is limited to himself or herself. In addition to that, they are expected to be participative, understand the problems of subordinates, empathize with them, work in an identical environment that is be able to understand the problems and good and bad, the strengths and weaknesses of the subordinates or the employees as they do, empathize with them, understand the environment, be in the environment and be one with them and also not show the signs of tiredness. A leader has to be energetic. He or she should be loyal to his subordinates and follow an appropriate leadership style, taking into consideration the organizational climate and the environment and finally also follow a reconciliatory approach. Thus, we come to the expected tasks of a leader. A leader is expected to set direction to the subordinates, to the employees, to his team, which involves and includes mission, goals and vision of the team, of the organization, of the individuals who are a part of the team. He is expected to build commitment. As a part of it, he should be able to motivate the employees, inspire them. The team cohesion will be strong when he is able to collectively motivate them and inspire them. Yet another task is confrontation of challenges. This needs innovation, being able to deal with change, sometimes being able to deal with resistance as well and take risks whenever necessary, wherever necessary. So this brings us to the end of presentation. We have talked about what are the expected abilities, characteristics and the tasks of a leader today. We will go to yet another presentation about how a person emerges as a leader in the subsequent lecture. Thank you.